Hi everyone, this is Chris Martiniak. I am coming to you to talk a little bit about um, some marketing automation software that I found on web1month.com's site using Built With. is a tool I can use to see what kind of products they have instrumented on one month. And I saw a couple of cool tools that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about. Uh, one of them is called Segment.io, which is now called just Segment, I believe. And the other is customer.io. And um, I want to uh, tell you a little bit about how these tools are used and some of the, some of the cool stuff about them. So anyway, um, segment.io is a product for collecting analytics data with one API and sending it to over 100 different marketing and analytics tools for various use cases like uh, you know, web analytics, uh, marketing applications, um, you know, email nurturing, basically like um, event-based nurturing kinds of activities, uh, landing page optimization, uh, A-B testing, different website experiences, all these kinds of things that normally would require you to instrument your website with every one of these tools. Um, you can now use Segment to uh, instrument your site one time um, and then pass the data via an API to these other tools that it's integrated with. And it's integrated with over a hundred different tools. Uh, and then you use the segment user interface to turn on and off the syndications and to configure what's going to be passed and what are the rules for passing data, like what are the segments that you're following and so on and so forth. So at a high level, you know, segment is um, a little bit more user friendly for marketers to handle that common task that they have of turning on marketing tools uh, all the tools that are in their stack, or even testing new vendors. Um, and uh, this is a huge pain point uh, if you're a marketer or a product manager or something like that. You already know that every time you do need a new tool, you have to go talk to your webmaster, your eng, and give them a, a pixel, you know, a JavaScript pixel, and you know, tell them what kind of parameters that you need to collect, you know, what kind of data you need to collect, that you're going to be using downstream, and you know it can be a major pain. It can take weeks to instrument. Um, they could push back entirely. Um, it can just make it too much of a headache to even bother with the application that you want to play with or test. So the the segment API is a slightly different approach than an analytics JavaScript tag. So the JavaScript uh, approach injects all kinds of parameters into the session, uh, into like the URL, and and, it, and then it the end users have to find a way to parse the data out in each one of the tools. Uh, this API approach is cleaner. Uh, it's basically a structured integration with these tools. So um, presumably the, the, the data you're, you're turning on over here you know, knows where to go over there and so on and so forth. Um, also the segment.io product takes this testing use case in quite seriously. Uh, the Google Analytics tag approach is sort of uh, has to be set up. Now I want to collect data A, B, and C, and it will start, you know, starting today, collecting that data. Uh, what uh, Segment does is it it can it basically collects raw data and stores it that you can then play later in a tool. So uh, you can define a segment later on and also already have the data from the past, and then you can go ahead and play it and see you know, what, what it's going to say, which is very slick and very cool. Um, uh, in some ways, Segment is playing the part of a tag manager if your use cases are very much around segmentation, like I talked about. Um, and so uh, you, know, you can use it to have a one, one product sending data to even your analytics products like Mixpanel and so on. Now, I have a feeling like Mixpanel and these other vendors would prefer to be directly on your site or your app, um, and there may even be some benefits of being directly on it. I'm not quite sure, but um, so there's pros and cons there. Also, Segment claims to be a little bit more cross-device than a tag management solution. Um, so you can send data from a website, mobile app, your own servers. Uh, Google Tag Manager, for instance, I think only works in browsers because it's JavaScript tag that only works like in the browser. Um, it I would imagine they may have some SDK version for apps, but now we're talking about, you know, you can see that it's more painful. Um, 
So in fairness, to utilize uh, a lot of the segmentation capabilities, there's gonna, you're going to pay for that. So there's a cost. Google, of course, is free. So if you really need a simple solution for administering tracking codes, firing piggyback URLs when a user does X, you know, let these guys know about it, um, basic, real basic tag management solution, you're probably better off using uh, something that's at Google, which is uh, simpler and, and probably better. Um, and for some folks, they may not even need a tag management solution or at all because um, maybe it's very easy for them to get the tags on the site. So maybe there is no problem and they don't have that headache. So they may not even need a tag management solution or maybe even the segment.io product at all. So those are the pros and cons. Customer.io is the, the second product I was going to talk to you about where segment is about identifying the rules and then triggering an event. Customer.io is the action layer. So it can go ahead and take the trigger and go ahead and fire an email, uh, an SMS, uh, even direct mail apparently based upon the actions that the user has taken on your site. Um, there's other tools that can accomplish the same uh, use case. So for instance, I, I know of uh, Vero, um, what are the other ones? There's uh, uh, Mailgun, Autosend, Mandrill, uh, Marketo, um, Drip. Uh, these are basically other email uh, nurturing or follow-up tools that are triggered um, uh, or, or handle different kinds of email use cases. So for instance, um, you might want to handle your mass newsletters or your nurturing emails. People have been, you know, you've captured their email and now you're just staying in touch with them. You might want to use a cheap tool like MailChimp or Drip or Autopilot. Um, your registration and password emails might be handled by something like Mailgun. But then your event triggered emails that are fancy, let's say, are maybe customer.io. Um, I think the right question would be what is your automation strategy? You know, what kind of use cases do you have? Um, some messages lend themselves better to automation uh, emails, like let's say welcome emails um, or emails for people who signed up but they didn't really activate yet, or um, customers who are maybe at risk because they've been visiting a part of your site around how do I cancel, or maybe they've been visiting FAQs a lot, so they have clearly have questions. You could follow up with a trigger-based email that says, you know, should we contact you, or do you need help, or something like that. So anyway, it goes without saying, if you have segment.io, you can probably test customer.io and other tools like that. So hopefully this has been interesting and helpful. Twitter me at Martiniak, Martini with an AK, with any questions or other tips. And uh, with that, thank you very much.